What is up, my friends, fellow magic enthusiasts? My name's Eric. Today I'm going to be giving you another card of you. Today's card is Relentless Hunter. For one red green, you get a 3 3 human warrior with the ability of one red green. Restless Hunter gets plus one plus one and gains trample until end of turn. This card is kind of mm, small, but I, I really like it. I've always enjoyed the savagery of red-green decks, and this one definitely plays into it. It makes me think of uh, Bogart Ram Gang, where that one was three for a 4-4 four, four, couldn't block, I think? I don't quite remember. I just remember three for a 4-4. Four, four. It was big. It was powerful. People played it like crazy uh, back in Shadowmoor. It was just insane. I loved it. Uh, because of that, it makes me think of, you know, this uh, being mm, not so much the same thing, but sort of a second coming for it. Uh, it's it's rather interesting to me uh, whenever they print these, because you get this one, you get Bogart Ram Gang, you get Fanatic Xenagos, which I like Fanatic Xenagos too. Not enough to play it in a standard deck, but I thought it was a really cool card too. I'm going to put this one on the list. It's going to definitely be a red-green casual deck for me. For draft, I'm going to have to give it a 3.5 because, well, it's not a huge creature, but I do think 3 for 3-3 three, three, and then later on, uh, later when you don't have as much uh, as many cards to play with your mana, you can just make him a 4-4 four, four, or 5-5 five, five, if it's really late in the game, a 6-6 six, six trample, and that can be rather powerful in draft. For standard, I'm going to have to go with a 3 uh, because... Red green landfall decks. I don't know if they're very good. If you if you miss a land for turn, you don't get the landfall trigger, and that kind of sucks. But with this card, you don't need to drop a land every turn to make the most out of him. You just need to have the land already in play to activate him. For for modern, I'm going to go two because it it really doesn't do anything special. You're not going to see it played in modern. I, I practically guarantee that. EDH, 1.5, same reason. You're not going to see it played in EDH. That It's just not going to happen in modern or EDH. And I don't want to give it a zero or, well, a one would be my lowest because it's not a bad card, but it's not going to get played. One is reserved for a card that's just flat out bad. Trait doctoring, for example. Nobody's ever going to play it, you know. That's a one. This is not a bad card. It's all right. Just not for those formats. <laughs> That's what I have to say about uh, about the Relentless Hunter. If you guys want to hear a, my thoughts and opinions on a certain card, leave a comment down below. Give me a like. Let me know if this is something you guys want me to continue doing in the future. And subscribe to my channel for all those updates and notifications. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time. Uh, hey, by the way, I kind of fucked that up. Bogart Ram Gang is a 3-3 a three, three haste wither. It can block. I'm thinking of like Ashenmore Ghoul or something. It's it's 3 for 4-4. Four, four. That's red and black. Bogart Ram Gang, red and green. 3-3-3 three, three, three for a haste wither. So, just, I was wrong. I admit it. All right, I'll see you all next time.